Blog Show. Blog Show. Welcome to Blog Show, the only regional cable sports segment hosted by bloggers. For Mr. Irrelevant.com, I'm Jamie Mottram, and from the Washington Post DC Sports Blog, this is Dan Steinberg. That's right, we're going to get your mind and your body right for the upcoming week of sports. And speaking of getting your body right, I think baseball players are not necessarily known for their fitness traditionally, and the Phillies have decided to hang out with one of their own, a fat golfer. Yeah, John Daly showed up at Phillies camp looking a lot like John Crook, circa 93, when yeah. he was in his playing shape. Or any variety of Major League Baseball pitcher. Yeah, or, well, one, one uh, baseball player has shown up pleasantly plump this spring is Dimitri Young, showed up at 298 pounds, according to the Post, Barry's Faluga. That's, That's just one reason why, you know, bloggers like us are part of the Meat Hook fan club. Another reason is that he painted his nails black. That's right. Yes, I spied this in the Washington Post Spotlight series. Uh, he went to... to Posted on National Journal, yeah, and, and I, th I think we actually did some, some further digging, and we uncovered an AP blog in which he said that he got he actually got his toenails done as well. Yeah, uh, fingernails and toenails, and since we do love the meat hook, we went to full Monty and, and uh, painted our fingernails as well. I only went one-handed, actually. but I, I went too. You don't see Kornheiser and Wilbon doing this. That's right. He said the quote was, just seeing what you can get away with, and I guess that's what we're doing on regional television also. Yeah, we caught him. He didn't quite get away with it. That's right. Uh, anyways, moving on, uh, baseball season's about to start, so that means... Uh, Big promotions at the ballpark. That's right. And our, one of our favorite baseball blogs, Home Run Derby, scoured all the Major League Baseball websites and picked the top promotions of the year just for you. Yeah, some that stood out to me. I, I like the J.J. Putts Soul Patch Night, of course. Yeah, the Mariners closer. And mm -hmm. the Cleveland Indians are giving away free cash to their fans. Free free cash for no reason. Evidently a promotion thought up by Isaiah Thomas, I guess. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. And the Twins with Joe Maurer fishing lure night. That'll be a big night yeah. uh, at the Metrodome. Uh, moving from baseball. Wait, I think the Nats are considering the Elijah Dukes uh, send a text message to your sweetie night. Nice. <laughs> you dead, dog. <laughs> That'll bring all the kids out to the yard. That's right. Anyways, uh, speaking of promotions, but moving over to the NBA, we've mentioned on this uh, program that Baron Davis has a blog on yardbarker.com. He's using that platform to challenge uh, fans out there in a beard growing yeah, competition. Yeah, one of the greatest challenges in history. You know, kind of like, you know, Rocky challenging Drago. You've got... Uh Aaron Burr challenging Alexander Hamilton. You've got Baron Davis challenging his readers to grow a beard. Yeah, and uh, the uh, Warriors blog, Fear the Beard, has asked the Bay Area and the Mid-Atlantic region, mind you, to beard up That's right. in honor of the competition. That's right. And I think Fear the Beard wrote about last year's playoffs. You know, you, you think that the, the shirts were a big deal. Wait until Charles, Kenny, and EJ step into an oracle filled with wild-ass, basketball, knowledgeable, Kimbo Slice lookalikes, <laughs> which would definitely be an intimidating sight. And some of his readers are submitting pictures of them with the beard. My favorite one is the little kid with the uh, soap beard. Mm -hmm. uh, huge Boom Dizzle fan, that yeah. kid. If I lived in Oakland, I would definitely have a J.J. Putz soul patch, if that counts. As a beard. Nice. Uh, was partially. I don't know. You'd have to ask the fellows at the American Mustache Institute okay. if perhaps it was a stash. Anyways, Fair enough. moving on to another hot team in the NBA, the Houston Rockets. They just keep on winning. And uh, Yao Ming has gone down, which means our old friend Dikembe Mutombo has stepped into a larger role with the team. Yeah, an equally accented role, it turns out. And I think some of his teammates have noticed that it's sometimes hard to understand the words that he says, and, and they actually offered this tribute to his style of speaking. Hey, yo, Rook, come here, Rook. Let me talk to you, Rook. Luis Escola, my friend from Argentina. <laughs> well, I've played in this league 20 years. I'm too, I, I do not have to run, I, I have too much experience. Just with the game, ref. Just with the game. Don't worry about us. Don't worry about us. Just with the game, ref. Saw that Who Wants to Imitate Matumbo clip via Odinized, fantastic NBA blog, Shane Battier and Steve Novak, spot on to Kim Base. That's right, and as long as we're in the NBA, we've got some interesting NBA-related photos that we want to display. This one oh, comes from, from Deadspin via, I think, a Honda forum, and, and it's of Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> he was in Scottsdale. He asked these guys for, for a ride in their Honda Prelude, and they took a photo of him inside. Doesn't look like he really fits that great. Yeah, he but might as well just sit in the back seat, I think. Yeah, I guess maybe when he wants to go up and down the court from now on, he could take a Prelude, though. Yeah, Shaq is spry. He dove into the third row the other night. Yeah. Uh, elsewhere in NBA photos, uh, caught on film, Kyle Korver not playing defense, <laughs> as it were. That's uh, quite an imposing Kyle figure. It just reminds me of yeah. the uh, Ernest Scared Stupid <laughs> Saw that one on ball hype. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> That's cool. And, and another photo, the Wizards recently had their uh, bowling night, and Getty Images was there to take this picture of Alexi Pesharov, big oily, dancing. You can see some of his teammates seem a little bit confused. I think Sean Stevenson is kind of giving him the look that you frequently give me when I sit in this chair. Right, and I can't believe you weren't there at Wizards Bowling Night. Why weren't you there to take the pictures? I had a commitment. I don't remember what, what it was. Do you have a kid or something? I think actually I was taping blog show, believe it or not, that night. All right, well, we made fun of, uh, well, actually, Petrov is nicknamed Big Oily. It kind of comes from his hair, mm -hmm. the way it looks sometimes. We'll touch on the oily side. Uh, elsewhere in hair among ballers, uh, Illinois State's Osiris Eldridge. Uh -huh. 
early entrant into the best hair in the NCAA tournament competition. Yeah. Look at that. It's like a oh, shaved into his head with the basketball backdrop. Yeah, I think Joe Lenardi's got him as a one seed for best hair in the tournament. Absolutely. We saw that one on the sporting blog. I appreciate the overgrown mohawk as well. That's right. And getting ready for the NCAA tournament, a couple other quick tournament entry notes. Possible tournament team, American University has uh, Nick Hendra. So. Yeah. Nick Hendra, freshman swingman, whose dad was actually in the movie This Is Spinal Tap. He played Ian Faith, the band's manager. Do you remember that scene? I don't remember. We just, no? No, I don't. Was that a shark sandwich? No? Uh, he helped design the Stonehenge. Oh, excellent. Set. Yeah, well, we're big fans of American. I think one of the players on the team actually watched Travis the blog show. Right? Travis Lay of American University actually watched blog show last week and has endorsed us, I think. So we're going to endorse American University for the Patriot League Championship. Well, that's very cool that uh, one of the kids' fathers was in Spinal Tap. Uh, not so cool is uh, freshman for San Diego. They're, they won the Western Conference. Uh, Western, West Coast West Conference, Coast Conference, Conference Championship uh -huh. over Gonzaga. Uh, Rob Jones is the grandson of Jim Jones, who you may know as the famous... Kool-Aid killer of Jonestown. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. <laughs> there are kind of some like Cinderella, you know, like giant slayer possibilities. But we there. saw that one on the dagger. Oh. I'm glad you made it a lot less morbid than <laughs> it actually is. Uh, and bailing us out here at the end of blog show is the YouTube of the week. This one from SEC football blogger. It's a young man from Alabama who seems to detest Tennessee. Man, I hate Tennessee because first of all, it's Tennessee. And I, I, I just hate them because they... they they low down, they dirty, they some snitches. And I hate Philip Foma. I hate their colors. I'm not a dog person. I, I just hate Tennessee, man. Like, and I, I hate Nay Nayland Stadium. It looks like a garbage truck worker convention. Tennessee's colors is it's that, it's that throw up orange. It's not that orange that you can sit with. It's that puke inside of a pumpkin orange. That I, and I don't like pumpkins. Log Show was brought to you by the good people at Senate Insurance. Kiss my bumper. Just kiss it. <laughs>